Okay, we're going to implement the copy constructor for the list of integers. In the previous video, we saw how to overload operator equal. We needed to do that because it gives us a shallow copy, and we wanted a deep copy, meaning that we wanted to copy the elements of the list, not just the pointer to the list. There's also a default implementation of the copy constructor, and it also will create a shallow copy. So we need to we need to now implement a copy constructor so that it will use the overloaded assignment operator that gives us a deep copy. Okay? So first of all in and this is a simple implementation because we, we're just going to call operator equal that we just implemented. So in our list of events Right, we have our uh, default constructor. Right, it looks like that. Well, remember that you know in main, for example, how do we use a copy constructor? So if I have a list of ints called L, and you know maybe I call read down here somewhere. And I want to make a copy of this, not using assignment, but using the copy constructor. I would do something like this, list of ints, Let's say it's L2, and I pass in L as the parameter. Well, again, this is a list of ints object. So the declaration of my copy constructor is a list of ints. Now guess what? And, and as the parameter, I'm just going to call it L again. Well, guess what? This list of ints could be quite large. So we're going to pass it in by reference. And since we don't want it to change in the method, we're going to declare it as constant. So th this is the definition that you would add to the class construct for list events. Now in terms of the implementation, again you take this and you replace the semicolon with a method body and you add the class name and the scoping operator to the beginning for your implementation. And so here we have list of ints, colon, colon, list of ints. We're going to write list of ints a lot of times here. Constant list of ints and L. And now I can implement this. First of all, I want to make a copy of L into myself, into this object, into this object. And I have a method for doing that. It's operator equal. So the question is, is how can I assign L to me? How can I assign L to this object? And you can do that by dereferencing. Again, we're going to use this. This is a really useful uh, you know, an illustration of how useful this is. If I dereference this, that gives me this list of integers, the object, not the address, because I'm dereferencing the pointer. And now that I have a list of ints object on the left hand side of the assignment, I want to assign it to the parameter L, just like that. Now the only caveat here is that this copy operation, right, it assumes that head pointer points to null. Well, what does head pointer point to? It's unassigned. This is a constructor. Remember, this is a constructor. So it's imperative 
that you make sure that head pointer points to null before you make this assignment. And now this will implement a copy constructor that will give you a deep copy and it uses the overloaded operator equal to do that.